So it finally seems that Everton's takeover saga is coming to an end. And majority shareholder Farhad Mashiri's time at Everton Football Club is coming to a close. But originally the deal that was on the table was with Crystal Palace shareholder John Textor. With the deal expected to be closed by November. But it turned out yesterday that Textor and Mashiri didn't have an exclusivity agreement. And at the last minute Dan Friedkin and his Friedkin group have now come back in to complete the purchase for Everton. The takeover deal is all subject to the usual checks by the Premier League and the Financial Conduct Authority. But it shouldn't be an issue being that he already owns Italian club AS Roma and is an experienced businessman. So hopefully it won't take too long for Friedkin to purchase the 94% stake in Everton. But for those that don't know, today we'll answer the question, who is Dan Friedkin? Well the most important question that the Everton fans will want answered is will Dan Friedkin have the cash to support the club? And the answer to that is most certainly yes, as he's the CEO of his own company as a personal net worth of $7.8 billion. His father was the founder of the Friedkin Group, but Dan Friedkin took over the company at the age of 35. And the Friedkin Group itself is a consortium that invests in entertainment, sports, automotive, hospitality and adventure companies. And he already has business interests in Gulf States Toyota, Imperative Entertainment, AS Roma Football Club in Italy... Diamond Creek Golf Club and soon to be Everton Football Club. Freakin is also reportedly a film producer and he's worked on a number of films by Imperative Entertainment with his biggest movie being The Killers of the Flower Moon which was starring Leonardo DiCaprio. But don't think it's all style over substance as he's also well educated as he graduated from the Rice University with a master's degree and as of September 2024, he lives in Houston with his wife Deborah and his four children. So hopefully all being well, Everton should be in safe hands with their new owner. And the Freaking Group have already issued a statement saying that they've expressed their excitement about the deal. In their statement yesterday, they said they're pleased to have reached an agreement to become the custodians of the iconic football club and they're focused on securing the necessary approvals to complete the transaction, hopefully by the end of the year. As I say, he's certainly not a stranger to sports investment as they decided to purchase Roma in Italy in 2020. And during that time, he's also had Jose Mourinho as his manager. Although the Serie A club have recently made the headlines when they fired Daniele De Rossi, their player icon, just four games into the 24-25 season. So clearly Friedkin won't mess about to bring success to the club. But for now, at the start, it doesn't seem as though there'd be any interfering in the sporting matters at Everton straight away. And Sean Dyche should be safe for now, whilst he tries to focus on getting the club away from the relegation zone. Hopefully, though, if the deal gets completed by the end of the year, then they'll have some much-needed funds to invest in the January transfer window. Although it remains to be seen whether they stick with Sean Dyche for the long term or just let him see out this season. As usually with all takeovers of football clubs, the new owners always have their ambitions of bringing in their own man. But the question will be, what of Farhad Mashiri? Well, without doubt, Mashiri has definitely made some bad decisions during his time at Everton, especially with managerial appointments and really bad transfer decisions. He has invested a lot of money in the football club over the years. But without doubt, as he's now leaving the club, his biggest achievement that he'll be remembered for is finally getting Everton into their new stadium. Everton can look forward to their new season next year in Bramley Moor Dock, with the stadium heading towards completion and financing now in place. It's believed that this Everton takeover deal values the club at around £500 million. But don't be under no doubt, Farhad Mashiri is walking away with a huge financial loss. He was mostly hurt during his time with the Russian invasion of Ukraine, as he was previously backed with hefty sponsorship from Alicia Uzmanov. But with the loss of that sponsorship money, Mashiri was all on his own. And since then really it's been all about survival and unfortunately a lot of loans being put on the club until eventually Mashiri has found an owner that can take on the club and its debts. But hopefully now the doom and gloom can start to be lifted at Everton and they can start focusing and looking forward. And hopefully now with the Friedkin group in charge it will be a bright and prosperous future for Everton Football Club. But as always with football ownership, never say never as we're now seeing with Chelsea as their owners have just fallen out. But let's wait and see what Friedkin has in store for Everton and let's not judge things just yet. As always, thank you very much for watching one of our videos and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel at the end for future football and Premier League content.